Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we've found the general equation that describes the time it takes for an object, like a spherical object, radiating out in space, how long it takes for the object to reach a certain temperature, now let's find how long it will take for the temperature to go down to half of its original value. So if it starts at a T sub naught, then half T sub naught would be the halfway point from T sub naught to absolute zero. How long will it take to do that? Also, we're going to simplify the equation by assuming that the mass of the object is equal to the density times the volume, and that way we can get rid of the expression of the surface area. We want to try to express it in terms of the radius of an object, any object in space, how long does it take for it to get to half its original temperature. So what we're going to do here is take the equation that we derived last time, replace every t by t sub naught divided by 2, and for m we're going to replace it by density times volume. So let's do that. So the temperature is now going to be equal to density times volume times a specific heat constant divided by 3 e sigma a. And then here we're going to replace every t by t sub naught over 2. So this becomes t sub naught cubed minus the quantity t sub naught over 2 quantity cubed divided by t sub naught cubed times t sub naught divided by 2 quantity cubed. So let's see how that simplifies. First of all, we're going to replace the volume and the area. This is the surface area of the sphere with the appropriate equations. So this becomes t times, uh, that's the density times the volume, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed times c divided by 3 e O, and this will become 4 pi r squared, which is, of course, the equation of the surface area of the sphere. And simplifying this some, a little bit more, so we have t sub naught cubed minus 1 8 t sub naught cubed divided by t sub naught cubed times 1 8 t sub naught cubed. All right, so here notice that the pi's cancel out, the r squared counts out two of those. We have 4 and here 3 times 3, which is 9. So this becomes t is equal to the density times 4 times r times c divided by 9 e sigma. And let's see here. Oh, we have a 4 over here. So that would be a 4 because that did not cancel. And uh, the rest canceled out. And then over here. So notice the 4s cancel out as well. And here this minus that, that gives us 7 8 t sub naught cubed divided by 1 8 t sub naught cubed times t sub naught cubed. Okay, the reason I wrote that is so you can easily see how we can then additionally simplify things. So this simplifies with this. And we have 1 over 8 divided by 1 over 8. So that cancels out. So now the 7 transfers over here. So we end up with t is going to be equal to, or more specifically, t when the temperature is equal to one half the original temperature, that is going to be equal to 7 times the density times r times c divided by, in this case we're going to have 9 e sigma, and then the t sub naught cube goes in the denominator. There we go. And there we have a simplified expression that shows us what the time will be for it to take for the object, the sphere, to reach half its original temperature, and this is only based on the density of the object, the radius, the specific heat of the object, emissivity, and the, and the Stefan Boltzmann's constant, and of course the original temperature to the third power. So a very simplified equation telling us how long it will take for it to reach half its original temperature, and that's how it's done.